friends, welcome to Obsidian Soft. Today we will make a fun app that will convert whatever we say into another voice. We can make this voice scary or funny, whatever we want. Have a look at the demo. It was a full moon. It was a full moon. It was a full moon. So let's begin the tutorial. Create a new project by going to projects and clicking on start new project. Let's call it fake voice creator. I'm going to upload some assets. I have a cool background and a button background. So I'm going to upload that first. So a background and a button background. I will give the link to these assets in the video description. I'm going to make the screen's orientation portrait. So just go down, choose screen orientation portrait and change the title to fake voices. Next, we need a few horizontal arrangements and one vertical arrangement for our screen. Some horizontal arrangements will only be used to add spacing between the screen components. So let's add one horizontal arrangement by going to layout and dragging and dropping a horizontal arrangement on our viewer. And I am going to make its width fill parent. Make sure to press on OK and the height will be 2%. So this is just for spacing. Drag and drop another horizontal arrangement. This will contain our speak button. I'm going to make this a line horizontal center, a line vertical center. Height will be 13% and width will be fill parent. I just remembered that I had to choose the background for our screen, so let's do that. So for our screen, choose the background image as the background file that we had uploaded earlier. So background.jpg, make sure to press on OK. So we have added two horizontal arrangements, so let's add another one. This is again for spacing, so I'm going to drag and drop it here and I'm going to make its height 2% and width will be fill parent. Another horizontal arrangement. Now this will contain our text box that will contain the text of what we speak. Okay, we can even copy paste some text there too. So align horizontal center, align vertical center. Height is 28%. Make sure to press an OK and width is fill parent. Another horizontal arrangement for spacing. Height is 2% again and width is fill parent. Another horizontal arrangement, but this will contain our button and when we'll click on that button, our text that will be coming here will be converted into a fake voice, a computerized voice in the beginning, but we can change its pitch and rate to make it sound scary or funny or whatever we want it to sound. Align horizontal center, align vertical center for this arrangement and height is 13% and width is fill parent. So I am dividing the 100% of the screen into its different parts and taking care that I don't exceed the 100%, okay? Last but not the least, I need to add a vertical arrangement that will contain our rate and pitch sliders, okay? So I'm going to go to this vertical arrangement and drag and drop it here and align horizontal will be center, align vertical will be center. Height in this case will be 40% because all this has taken 60% and the remaining is 40%. So 40% height, make sure to press an OK and width is fill parent, okay? Go to user interface and drag and drop a button into the second horizontal arrangement, that is horizontal arrangement two. Rename it to say something BTN. Make its font bold, font size is 20, Make its background the image of the button background. So go to image and choose button background.png that we had uploaded earlier in the media. And now I am going to change this text to say something and I'm going to make the text color white. Okay, let's add another button with the same properties to this arrangement. Okay, the horizontal arrangement number six. Okay, the second last arrangement. So just drag and drop a button here. It will have similar properties to this button, the say something button. 
So first I'm going to rename it to convert to fake voice button and I'm going to make the font bold, font size 20, image is the button background, make sure to press an OK and text on it is here fake voice exclamation mark and text color is white. Let's add a text box to our horizontal arrangement number four that is the fourth arrangement from the top so drag and drop a text box here and we are going to rename it to speech to text box okay and I'm going to make its background white I'm going to make the font bold font size 20 and I'm going to make its width 95% okay and I'm going to make the height fill parent okay and I'm going to make the text color black okay now in our last arrangement we are going to add two sliders but we also want labels with them so I'm just going to drag and drop a label here and I'm going to rename it to pitch lbl and font bold font size 20 okay text is change the pitch colon and text color is white okay next i'm going to add a slider okay so as you can see that i'm not able to see part of the screen so a way to get around this is that either i can make it tablet size so that i'm able to see more of what should be put below or another way of fixing this problem is this will not be a problem when you will be actually installing it or testing it on your mobile phones but somehow this part is not visible in the viewer here so a way to get around it is by going to screen one and making it scrollable okay so when you will make it scrollable i will be able to scroll down and look at the entire layout okay so that's a workaround for that okay so what i'm going to do is that i have added the change the pitch label i'm going to add a slider just below it okay and i'm going to rename it to pitch slider and i'm going to make the default color magenta but i'm going to customize it to make it a bit darker so i can just go here and choose a darker shade something similar to our button background okay and i'm just going to copy this hex code for the color so that i can use it also for the rate bar okay so i've added the slider i have to change its properties so i have to make its width 80 percent i'm going to make the max value 2 the minimum value 0 and the thumb position is 1. The next thing is that I'm going to add a spacing label here. So this will actually not contain anything. It will be just to add some space between the two sliders. Okay. So I'm just going to drag and drop a label and I'm going to make its height 2% and I'm going to remove all text for it because it's just for spacing. Okay. Then I'm going to add another label and now this will actually contain the label for red so i'm going to rename it to red lbl and i'm going to make its font bold font size 20 and text is change the red colon and text color is white okay and the last component is the red slider and i'm going to change the orange color the default color left and I'm going to go to custom and as I had copied the color code before so I'm just going to delete the existing one and paste the dark magenta one okay and I am going to make its width 80 percent max value is 2 minimum value is 0 and thumb position is 1 okay now we're done with the screen so let's remove the scrollable option 
uncheck it by going down after choosing screen one and in the properties, uncheck scrollable. So the last thing to do in our screen design is adding invisible components that we will be using to make our app work. So go down in media and choose speech recognizer, drag and drop it here and text to speech. Okay. So a speech recognizer and a text to speech have been added. We are done with the design of our screen. So let's go to the block section to do the coding. So the first thing is what happens when the say something button is pressed. Okay. So this will actually record whatever we say and convert it to text. So when the say something button is clicked, get that event handler, say something button dot click. We are going to call our speech recognizer and tell it to start recording and converting it to text. Okay. Speech recognizer. Go there and call its procedure speech recognizer dot get text. Okay. That's the first thing. Next thing is we want to fill up our text box with whatever we had said after pressing the say something button. So after a speech recognizer has stopped recognizing text, another event is triggered, which is after getting text. We will use this and fill up our text box with the result from the speech recognizer. So I'm going to go to my speech recognizer and choose its when speech recognizer dot after getting text. Okay. And in this, I am going to set my speech text box. So this one's the speech text box and it's text to whatever the result was from the speech recognizer. Set speech to text box dot text. And we are going to give it the result. If I hover over it, I will get its getter. So get result. Okay. So the next thing is our fake voice button. Initially, it will just convert text in our text box, the speech to text box into speech. So when convert to fake voice button is clicked, so let's get the click on click event handler. And when it is clicked, we are just going to use our text to speech. So from text to speech, use this procedure called text to speech dot speak and a message. So what is the message? The message is actually whatever is inside our speech text box. Okay. So just go to your speech text box and get its text. Okay. So try it by connecting it to the app companion and you will notice that when you will press the say something button, your voice will be recorded and it will be converted to text and the text box will fill up with that text. And when you will press the convert to fake voice button, a computerized voice will read out aloud the words that are in the text box. Okay. You can also try this app by copy pasting text from somewhere into the speech to text box. Okay. But remember, we want to convert that computerized voice into a scary voice or a funny voice. So how to go about that? Remember those pitch and rate sliders, we can use them. Okay. So before we call the text to speech dot speak procedure that will read out aloud the message inside our text box, we are going to use the values provided in our rate and pitch sliders. So how to do that? We are going to go to our text to speech component and you will notice that we can change its pitch. Okay. So set text to speech dot pitch to some value and Inside it, we have the option of speech rate too. Okay. So let's use that. Okay. So before we call the speak procedure, just and set the value for pitch to whatever is inside the pitch slider. So if I go to my pitch slider, I am going to get its thumb position. So that's the value. So pitch slider dot thumb position. Okay. Okay. And I've just noticed that I forgot to rename the rate slider. So just let me rename it first. So this is my rate slider. And let's just duplicate this one. And we are going to change the speech rate. And I'm going to get the value, the thumb position of the rate slider. This very simple but fun app is done. I mean, look at the amount of code. There's not that much code in it. You can test it out on an iPhone or an Android device. 
You might notice some problems with an iOS device, but on an Android device, this will work perfectly fine. Secondly, by default, you will notice that the original computerized voice is always female. You can change this text to speech voice to a male voice for a real Frankenstein effect by going into the settings of your Android or iPhone device. In iOS, look in the settings for voiceover under accessibility. In Android, look for the text to speech output setting. So have fun coding this app and, and as you know that for an Android, you can even install it. You can generate an APK file and you can share it with your friends and family so that they can try it on their Android devices too. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, kindly do so. Thank you for watching my class. Have a good day and goodbye.